Hey guys, in this video, I want to share with you guys some additional features that Apple rolled out for iOS users in China. Now, Apple released iOS 12.1.2 worldwide with additional fixes for the software that contain fixes of certain bugs with the eSIM feature built into the new iPhones 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. The activation uh, feature for the eSIM was having issues. That was addressed with the software. Another thing that was addressed as well was the uh, cellular connectivity issues in Turkey. However, I've been having cellular connectivity and Wi-Fi issues since I bought the new iPhones 10s, 10s Max, and the iPhone 10R. But they're addressing this for Turkey in this particular update. However, there was the same update rolled out to users in China that contain some additional fixes and enhancements to the software that weren't seen worldwide. For example, in China, we did see the same fix for the activation, eSIM activation bug. So that's been addressed there. The same issue with the cellular connectivity in Turkey that was also present on this update for China. However, there's two different updates here on the bottom that we did not see worldwide. And the first one includes new animations when forced closing applications within the app switcher. So Apple has been on an ongoing battle with Qualcomm in China over patent infringement. So this software update was rushed to enable Apple to continue selling iPhones in China without infringing patents. So therefore, there's a new animation that I want to share with you guys that's available on iPhones in China that won't be available in the United States or may come in the future, who knows. Now, there's also an update to the share sheet of settings, contacts, and wallpaper images. So it appears that there was two infringements that Apple targeted with this software in China. Let me go ahead and share that video. I'll post the original source in the description. Take a look on how the apps close with the app switcher. They sort of zoom into themselves, disappearing right into the uh, app itself. So if we take a look on how this is done with the update in the United States, so let me go ahead and close a few applications here. You see that it kind of swipes away just like that. So I'm swiping away. Now, once again, take a look on how the actual animation is in China now on the new iPhones. So let me go ahead and open a few apps and show you side by side what this may look like here. So we're gonna go ahead and play this video again. Let's go and go backwards here. Okay, so take a look. Swiping away, going up. This one just kind of zooms into itself. So see the difference? And that's the difference between closing applications, animations that Apple shared with users in China were actually implemented for users in China. Now the share options sheet, the changes for that, I don't have my hands on. If I do get my hands on it, of course, I'll be sharing that with you guys. But just wanted to share that quick update with you guys. I thought it was rather interesting that Apple implemented those changes to the app switcher only for China when they could have just rolled it out worldwide. They didn't really have to do that. But hey, there you guys have it. I just wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.